Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the S23 Ultra, and this time we'll be taking a look at the lab features on this phone. Okay, so to find labs, pull down the notifications, go into settings, and scroll down to where it says advanced features. And here at the top, you will see labs, select it. And here it just explains that trying experimental features, some features may not work correctly with all apps. So there's four different features. So just turn each one on. So the first one is multi window for all apps, allow all apps to open in pop up view or split screen, including apps that haven't been designed for these layouts. The second one is full screen in split screen view. The third one is swipe for pop-up view. And the last one is swipe for split screen. So to swipe for split screen, to change to split screen view, swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen in portrait view or from the side of the screen in landscape view, swipe again to switch apps. Okay, so I've enabled all of them. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to open up an application. You can open up any application, but I'm going to start by just opening the camera. Oh, I've just taken a picture there. How cool. Okay, so I'm going to start by swiping from the top right-hand corner to the center of the display. And as you can see now, the camera has gone into pop-up view. And if you select the little blue tab here, you can move the pop-up window around and place it anywhere on the display, or you can swipe it down to where it says remove here and remove it from the display, but we're not ready for that. And just shift it back down here. Okay, so if you select the little blue tab, it'll bring up these options. So the first one, it expands the little floating window. As you can see, it's gone a little taller. If you select this option here, it will shrink the window into the camera application. As you can see, and if you select it again, it just launches the camera back into the floating window mode, brings it back up into floating window mode. If you select this option here, the camera will go into full screen mode and you'll have to swipe back down to the center of the display to bring it back into the floating window mode. If you select the little X, it will remove the camera from the display and close it down. If you select the three little pins, we get these three little options. If you select this option here, it opens up the split screen mode. So from here, you can keep the camera open or whatever application you have there at the top, you can keep it open and you can launch any of your installed applications. So just scroll through and choose any application that you want to run in split screen mode. So for example, if I want to run Call of Duty whilst using the camera, I can do So how cool is that guys? Okay, so I'm just gonna close that down. Okay, let's go back into the labs. Okay, wait a minute, let me just open the camera again, show you a few more settings within the floating window. If you select this option here, it brings up the little slider 
and here you can adjust the transparency so as you can see when I slide it all the way down to the end there the camera has now gone transparent I can see right through it onto the home screen I can see the wallpaper and the applications And then when I slide it back to the end there, it goes back to how it was. And then if I select the little X, it removes it from the home screen. Okay, full screen in split screen view. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the swipe up from split screen to put the phone into split screen view and we'll check out the full screen view so just gonna swipe up hold on yep okay so as you can see it's gone back into split screen view and i'm just going to show you all something real quick so when i turn the switch off as you can see we can now see the navigate navigation bar And when I turn it on, it now hides the navigation bar, giving us more view of the full screen. So yeah, we can take advantage of the full screen when we turn it on. And then this one, swipe for split. We've already looked at swipe for pop-up. Remember that's when you swipe from the top right hand corner but yeah remember you have to open up an application so that's the swipe for pop-up view we've already looked at that so let's just remove that okay so let's just check this out now so remember to change to split screen view you swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen in portrait view or from the side of the screen in landscape view and swipe again to switch apps so let's go ahead and test it out so let's open the play store and we're just going to swipe up to go into split screen view So I could be browsing on the Play Store whilst checking out Facebook, looking to see what my friends have posted. Whilst I could be maybe downloading an app. And if I want to switch any of the applications, I would simply just swipe up. And as you can see, it brings back up the apps. So I could switch from Facebook to any one of the applications. YouTube, for example. So I could be watching a video or something on YouTube whilst the application is still downloading. So yeah guys, this was just my video taking a look at the Labs features on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And if you're not a big fan of it and you want to turn it all off again, just simply come back into Labs and just turn each one off. And you're still good to go, guys. Anyway, that's it for the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'm out. See you in the next one. Let me know if it's something that you use. Let me know all that good stuff in the comment section down below. Anyway, I'm out. See you in the next one, guys. Deuces.